always tell how the morning's gone so far by how I look. I'm actually somewhat put together this morning. The kids have been good as gold today, complete opposite of yesterday. So hopefully we can get these baseboards and the rest of my floors done today. I think it might have something to do with waking up super early. While I wish it was my idea, it wasn't. The city workers have been pounding the pavement, literally since seven o'clock this morning. But there's something about waking up super early. We should probably be starting to do that. Our oldest is starting kindergarten in the fall and having any kind of schedule is gonna be weird for us. I'm not one to follow schedules. Our life is just chaotic at all times. Waking up early felt really good. I've already gotten a lot of things done. While we're doing this 28 day spring clean challenge, there's always more to do, right? The dishes to do, the laundry to do, uh, just general cleaning. We had a potty training accident this morning already. So it's been a full morning and it's not even 10 o'clock yet. <laughs> but somehow I still found time to put a little makeup on uh, and to actually get dressed. <laughs> and it feels pretty good. So I may have to um, adopt this new way of living, waking up early and getting things done. Okay, so we are on day 24, 24 you guys. Today we're gonna to be working on our baseboards and I'm also gonna be finishing up the floors because if you caught yesterday's video, you know <laughs> what a circus it was here yesterday. So I still have the floors to do in the hallway and kind of the entryway of our house. Um, also the bathroom floors need to get done really bad um, behind the toilet and everything. So I'm gonna hopefully take care of all that today along with the baseboards. And what's really funny is I saw baseboards on the calendar at the beginning of the month. Baseboards are something that I normally clean just when I'm sweeping or mopping the hallway and I don't even think about them being the baseboards because it's so easy just to incorporate into cleaning the floors in there. And the reason is a little trick that I use with the Norwex mop system. I hooked on 3M hooks on here and the reason that I do that is I can off center on the mop pads so that it goes up and over um, and it makes cleaning the baseboards a breeze. I'll show you. So the whole system is Velcro. I can use the same pad that we used yesterday for the floors because I brushed it off with the rubber brush. It's good to go for another round. And the first time I saw this being done, my OCD kind of kicked in. I was like, what are you doing? That's so weird. But if you off center the pad and you Velcro it on, then we take the tag where we hang it up from and we loop it up and over and onto that hook there. That way we have this nice edge here that just glides over the baseboards. We can do this with the dry pad and the wet pad. So we're actually cleaning uh, by just running it along the baseboards. So easy. All right, let's get started cleaning the baseboards. bathrooms and the hallway is kind of all we had to do today. I did also catch up from yesterday. We did the hallway and the bathrooms um, sweeping and mopping with our mop system. And I gotta tell you, the mop system works behind the toilet really, really beautifully. We do also have a smaller mop system. It's the mini mop system. It's about half the size. So if you have like an apartment, you don't have a whole lot of flooring, the mini mop system may work better for you. The mini mop system, like I said, is about half of the size of the superior system. And if you're missing the smell of clean, let me let you in on a secret. Real clean has no smell. But if you're missing 
the scent that you're used to. You can always use a little bit of essential oil in the water. I like to use either wild orange or lemon, um, sometimes even eucalyptus, and I put it directly in the spray bottle um, that I'm spraying the floor with. Okay, let's take a look at the water. Again, I have some hot water with just a sprinkle of the Ultra Power Plus laundry detergent. That's gonna clean our mop pad in between laundering it so that we can use it again and again. The mop pad holds about 10 times its weight in liquid, so if you were to use it dry, you could absorb a lot of liquid, including a whole bottle of wine, which I don't wanna talk about. So there you go, the satisfying water. We were able to clean our baseboards without breaking our back using the superior mop system and the little hook trick. So pretty painless today. Tomorrow is going to be our walls. Did you know that you should clean your walls? If you have a whole lot of wall space, you can use the superior mop system. I'll show you the little lock mechanism on there to make it easier on you. Or you can use the handheld system, which I will probably be using. Join me back here tomorrow so I can show you all the ins and outs of our handheld system and have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.